Hello, welcome back to Brandon Shishi. Let's begin this episode. I want to share with you this note tree created using geometry nodes in Blender. So this is just another uh, random scattering of letters. So basically, you can put in any letters. So in this case, it's just X and O, but you can just type in like one, two, three, or like any numbers. It will scatters the letters. You can actually type in like blend, for example. It's going to scatter all these letters and you can uh, modify this as you like. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look closely. If I select the geometry, if I hit tab, this is basically just a normal cube. Okay, the default ge geometry is cube. However, here I'm using a geometry nodes modifier twice. The first one will generate the, the base mesh. In this case, the base mesh is a grid. So I can reset the grid, make it smaller in X and Y. So this is just normal grid. You, you might also notice there's some kind of noise happening there influencing the scattering of letters. We can replace this with icosphere or anything, anything that you like. Uh, including like uh, another cube and it's gonna scatter the letters on the cube there's also like noise influencing it but I decided to separate this uh, and then the second geometry nodes is doing uh, the scattering job this is uh, not very complex not very complicated it simply takes the geometry from previous uh, modifier, geometry nodes modifier, and then it's gonna distribute points on face. So we have this convenience of having the rotations and the normal. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, with the density, I'm actually using the noise texture for the noise texture based on the position um, of the objects. So I think I should have used the point position from from the uh, from distributed points in order to make this better. Um, anyway, don't worry about that. Anyway, I, I use positions and I can kind of translate the position of the noise using this or this using the 4D noise texture what's interesting here however I'm distributing and I'm influencing the density using the noise so based on the noise here I'm remapping it using map range, so it's probably not as obvious for now um, because we are using procedural mesh. Anyhow, uh, for the in as for the instancing, um, I'm using the string string to curves node, which takes the input from this uh, string out here, so we can type in anything and we can pick our own font uh, and also scale the font i use curve fill separate the components into its instances and then i reset the position of the letter and i use that as instance and i also enable pick instance instead of selecting the whole letter picks the instance it's going to separate all the instance of the letter and if you really want, you can specify the randomizations. You can specify the letter that you want to use. In this case, the index 0 or index 1, letter B or index 2, or just all of them. You can also randomize the scale, of course. So all of this make up uh, this artwork I think I probably from here we can 
uh, we can use this with solidify because I'm using mesh object and also we can use it with remesh this might come in handy and you can turn on smooth shading it's kind of artwork that I like to create based on letters so letter O and X will create this So let me just reset it to something simpler, like the grid. So okay, with the grid, we can see the noise clearly. It's looking really abstract, but uh, yeah, it's based on letters. If you like, you can uh, randomize further. I'm using the latest 3.0 alpha so this is like geometry nodes field so we are really uh, can play around with the vector vectorize vectors and or this field to control to control the rotations of our instance objects so I think yeah it's pretty pretty cool slightly more complicated like I said I'm using pause on this you can also use random uh, not forgetting one more thing that's kind of unusual is that because this is originally just like a box right you can subdivide it and because um, this is like a, a mesh we can actually go to weight paint and start painting this is might be slightly confusing. So what's happening is that we can use the weight on the original geometry and let's see the way we do it is to sample the attribute so get the geometry and get the value from the weight of vertex group and it's not as obvious but so at, at the moment it's really just using the the noise factor maybe maybe that's gonna be for the next live noting and uh, not this one for now really we can we can source the original geometry and then from this example it's using the position of the original geometry and then generate noise and then use the noise weight procedurally to affect the density in the next live noting we're gonna try to grab this vertex group or using our own attribute custom attributes and then try to bring it into this so we can do like painting all right so yeah hopefully this is useful useful like useful example um let, let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye